Hey, everybody, it's just Birch, and every now and then people don't like me. Uh, I'm not counting Mumbles. It's a fake dislike thing he's got going on, but uh, we all know Mumbles loves me and doesn't know what he would do without me. But uh, no, this is actual dislike, or maybe it's, uh, you know, what they call, quote, a night letter or uh, a helpful idiot or, or whatever phrase you'd like to use. So this is not about a video I did, but actually a, a caption I post on Twitter. Now, my Twitter has scaled way, way back from where it was uh, two years ago to where I'm barely using it anymore. I'll go and post a panel every now and then. Usually uh, some kind of uh, shit posting, I think, is the, uh, the term I would use. Uh, but but it's, it's, it's lightweight. It's barely dad humor. I mean, it's, it's, there's nothing much there. Generally, it's, it's a panel with some kind of comment that's more eye-rolling than funny most of the time. I'm self-aware. Um, you know, there, there was a bunch of articles saying, you know, breaking news. Obi-Wan Kenobi may feature more cameos from Star Wars characters in future episodes. And I posted, uh, retweeted the link with, uh, yeah, it's almost like it's set in Star Wars. See? Ah, 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 ah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I post up this uh, panel, which is from, uh, I think it was from the uh, Thor Hulk uh, battle royale that they're doing right now. And it's uh, Captain America, Captain Marvel, and Iron Man. And my, my, by the way, I posted the, uh, there's several things wrong with this panel, by the way. Like, number one, the artist draws in Iron Man leaning over. Now, first off, does Tony Stark need to lean over? Like, he's so tired. He's like, oh, man, I've been wearing a suit all day. I'm I've got to, I've got to lean against this wall. Like, I'm pretty sure he's like suspended in kind of a comfort goo there. I, he's not using his muscles to hold up the armor. Uh, so I don't know why he's like, ah, it's, uh, such a long day, but the artist draws in all the legs and then the, the word balloon just, just blows right over it. I, I, that cracks me up. Uh, looks like Captain America's sucking in his gut. Uh, I'm just saying the way he's posed, uh, but Captain Marvel's quads are out of control. And so I post, stop working the quads, Carol, you're good. That's it. That's that's the whole. That's the joke. That's the joke. That's it. That's all we got. Because <laughs> the quads are huge. I mean, th th there you have it. And uh, some top class poster uh, comes in and, and replies. She has to get ready for her next fight against Chung Lee, which is awesome. That is uh, <laughs> that is exactly the level of good humor uh, that we all need about these things. Uh, but not everybody thinks so. Let's go to the mailbag, <laughs> and this writer. Uh, this this uh, reader, right? What, whoever, this person who saw this on Twitter. Okay, ready? Here we go. Dear Perch, I try and give you the benefit of the doubt, even though you're clearly hate adjacent. So let me stop right there. Hate adjacent, like mildly irritated. It's hate adjacent. But, uh, anyway, uh, when the mail's starting out that way, you have to assume if you're the writer that nothing good is coming of of whatever's going to follow this. <laughs> Anyway, um, anyway, we go hate adjacent. But I see that you continuously dog whistle hatred against Carol, Captain Marvel, when you know a number of trolls are going to come out of the woodwork to attack her, denigrate women, LGBTQ characters, and more. Carol's not LGBTQ. What? Okay. I don't know why you do this. I don't know why you insist on making fun of Carol when you know. It's just going to cause this reaction. My, my only assumption is that you want this reaction to happen and that you like sending hatred toward Keller, Carol and her fans. I always hear that you give people a fair take, but when you do stuff like this, it's clear which side, quotes, quotes, side you're on. If you want to be considered fair, you need to stop going after Carol, but I think it's too late for you. No longer a viewer, and then I'm not going to put the name up here. Um, fair, okay, so seriously, I, I guess that's my only response to this. Seri the seriously, you know, here's one observation. By the way, complete, somewhat independent of this, uh, and this is uh, you may, I don't know, think about this for a while and check it out for yourself in comics. I think Carol Danvers, Captain Marvel is drawn the most inconsistent of any other character in Marvel and DC right now. And I mean it. She's drawn with short hair. She's drawn with longer hair half day down the back. She's drawn with shorter hair sometimes. She's drawn super skinny. She's drawn muscular. She's drawn with you know very large breasts, no breasts. Like, in a given month, her appearances wildly differ. She's sometimes shorter 
than Captain America. She's been drawn towering over Captain America. Now that's independent of, of you know, anything else here, but it, uh, it does make it easier to point out, you know, weird flaws in Captain Marvel when she's drawn all over the place. Iron Man is generally drawn like robot guy. There's not a lot you could do with that. Captain America, again, generally drawn the same Hulk, Thor, they're, they're all drawn about the same. Carol is drawn all over the place. And it's not just, uh, it's not all women. You know, Sue Storm is drawn generally consistent. Storm, pretty consistent. Rogue is consistent. Jean Grey, yes. Black Widow, sure. Captain Marvel, though, seems to be up to artist interpretation every comic you go. I'm, I'm not making this up. Go check it out for yourself. I, I'm genuinely curious why this is. But to the heart of, of the male. So here's the... <laughs> I mean, yes, this is a joke, and it is a harmless joke, and it's not a joke that preys on anyone else. Oh, look, her quads are big, because in the panel, her quads are big. That, that, that's the deep-level intelligence joke there, and I did appreciate the person who came in comparing her to Chung Lee. I thought that was an excellent follow-up to the joke, and great. Now, if I'm being honest, I look down, I see other... Uh, you know, other, uh, you know, responses. Here's Rags, great guy, has uh, always a great guy. Uh, those hips, though, all right, fine. Not terrible art overall, kind of dull, okay. Br brutal Marvel needs art directors, all right, fair. Um, needs to do more upper body work, a lot more upper body work. She's been skipping arm day and doing too many leg days. Again, good, perfectly good in the spirit of that joke. That's the point of it. Now, there are some people in here who are going, uh, this, you know, Marvel's a sinking ship, uh, every, you know, trash art, garbage art. Uh, this is, you know, what, do they even hire? Who does? Nobody knows anatomy. Uh, you know, and, and then, you know, th there's certainly some activity going on there. This is top garbage Marvel. Okay. Uh, Carol Manvers. All right. So, see, I mean, yes, it did attract some of those responses, no doubt about it. Does that mean that the joke shouldn't be made at all? Honestly. Um, I, I feel like if you live in that world, there's no point to anything. Now, I, I grant you, uh, it is annoying when you have people who are, you know, blackpilling constantly, comic, comics are dying, comics are trash, everything in comics is terrible, comic art is bad, everybody sucks. Yes, that gets tiring. I agree, it gets tiring to me too. But the antidote to that is not to become an unfunny robot and reject any and all humor. That's that's not the solution. I mean, I, I think, <laughs> I just, what good are you doing then? What possible benefit do you have if every time, you know, if you, you just basically, uh, you know, ring fence certain characters and say, you cannot make anything but positive comments about this character. And, and I could get on board if somebody's saying, hey, I don't like the, you know, uh, Carol Manvers, or it's a dude in a wig, or, you know, I, I can get on board with, like, those, you know, those criticisms, um, you know, or display a certain level of just, you know, hatred toward the character that goes more over the top. I mean, sure, I, I could, again, I think it's it's always best in those situations to just ignore it if you don't like it, but, but you know, fine. I, I mean, if, if you want to say, like, uh, you know, and, and definitely comments that go along the lines of, you know, Carol needs to die in a fire, all the fans who like Carol need to die, like that kind of stuff. Sure, absolutely. If you're posting that kind of stuff, you know, you're, you're making no, you know, you're making no headway. It's kind of like the writer of this, uh, this mail. You know, they're, you're, they're, you're not making a legitimate point at that point. You're just like, I, I don't know what you're doing at that point. You're just, you know, randomly firing bullets. But, uh, but you know, I, I, I don't think it benefits any movement, any, you know, anyone to try and say that certain characters, certain jokes, certain things are just completely off limits. And if you make them, you're automatically a bigot. You're one of the bad ones. I, you know, I, I just, I think that that's useless. I think that uh, it doesn't help the character. I don't, I think, I, I just think it's, it shows a lack of any sense of humor, any desire to have fun with comics. Captain Marvel fans are not being hurt or harmed by saying, hey, this image of Captain Marvel has quads. And yes, I'm aware that Captain Marvel is a lightning rod for certain fans. And I know that 
but not certain fans, almost everybody. People tend to either claim to love her or claim to despise her. There's not a lot of middle ground. I don't know. Maybe there's a decent, healthy amount of apathy in there. I, I don't know. But almost every character in comics has been drawn silly at some point. I think Captain Marvel has had an excessive amount of silly, again, because she seems to be drawn fairly randomly in every appearance. But to point that out is fair game, and frankly, it's, it's inherent in comics to point that kind of stuff out. I thought at one point, you know, comic writers and people who are in comics were, you know, Gen X too cool for admitting anything was cool, kind of, they were, you know, they more cynical, a more cynical generation. There's certainly a lot of people in comics who claim to be that, who claim to be nostalgic for the uh, nothing matters kind of generation. But if that's the case, then you can't get triggered over saying Captain Marvel has big quads in an image where her quads are big. And frankly, you're taking away the fun of being able to make you know top jokes like uh, like like this one about Chung Lee. Uh, it's not it's not a top joke. It's just it, it's just fun. It's just intending to be fun. And no, it's not a slippery slope for having fun to suddenly being a white nationalist. That's that's not the case at all. I think we're all smart enough to understand the difference between making a comment about how an image is drawn and genuine misogyny. I say that somewhat tongue in cheek because clearly we aren't smart enough for that. But I, but I have to believe a lot of the people posting, including the person writing this mail, knows. You know the difference. I'm not sure what the point of this is. I mean, I think the point of this is to remind me, hey, you're on mostly the bet. You're you're what hate adjacent. You're irritable. <laughs> I think that's the, the point of this mail is to remind me once again that there's some people who look at this channel and get irritable. There's a, a guy who's a complete stalker on Twitter uh, who's absolutely blocked, and I've been blocking several of the alt accounts, and he will pop up. Like, I'm having a you know a reasonable conversation with Colleen Dorn or G. Willow Wilson or somebody like that, and this person will pop out of the woodwork to go, you realize that guy's a hate monger. Every, like, he, he, he's literally just scrolling for my, you know, obsessed on, on almost a daily basis. Guy's a nutcase. He does it for a few other people as well. One of his biggest examples, as I said at one point, uh, well, that is retarded. It's like, he, he hate, he, look, he hates the disabled. It's like, you know what, I, I don't. And it's fine. Because reasonable people know it's fine. Nobody who's trying to gatekeep words like that or, or images like this one is reasonable. They've got a different agenda. The agenda is, is to control and kind of segment. I, I feel like uh, for several of these people, there's almost this mentality of like, you know, I want to be fans with that pro. I want to be fans. I want to be friends with that pro. And, uh, you know, I, I, I think that pro can only have room for like 10 friends. So I've got to be one of them. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to push everybody else under the train so I can make sure that I'm friends with them. That's how it comes across. Desperate and creepy. But No. No, it's a joke about quads. That's it. And that's completely fine. And frankly, if we all joked about it and laughed about it a little bit more and just tried to have a good time, again, compared to Chung Lee, we're all going to, everybody's going to be happier. And frankly, the character is going to get more popular. You know, there were plenty of jokes made about Wolverine back in the day when he was surging in his popularity from being too short, too hairy. Canadian and a little, they, you know, he, there was jokes talking about how he was a little slow, that he liked maple syrup. You know, they, they had, they did uh, bits where he had like silverware coming out of his, you know, hands instead of claws. So he could eat pancakes with syrup and, and bacon. Like, I mean, I mean, the, what just dumb jokes. They made jokes about him being overly hairy. And what do you know? The character still got to be massively popular. Because it was fun to do parodies. That's why, that's, that's, I mean, people should know this. That's why Saturday Night Live exists. I wish it didn't half the time, but anyway. I, I, so, you know, hey, look, to the, to the letter writer, just stop watching, block, ignore. Clearly, I'm hate adjacent. So, you know, if you listen to this channel or you see a panel get posted, of Carol, and you think that's a dog whistle to get a bunch of people to come in and crap all over Carol, 
if that and you believe it's just filled with hatred and and vile things then block tell all the people who are your friends who listen to you to block take me out of your life honestly and uh good good luck to you i think you're gonna need it thanks for listening 